Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, 2017, and this is a crude oil sector review. So having a look at uh, light crude oil contract WTIC, uh, we've been very bullish since the bottom around that 42 area, and uh, we think that this, is, this particular move is going to actually uh, end up breaking the upside uh, resistance around 55 and, and make a move towards that 57 to 62 area uh, at some point this year. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little pullback here, uh, back, back down to the 50 area, which kind of coincides with that 50 EMA alongside the middle Bollinger Band around 4890. Um, but ultimately, uh, we momentum is very strong right now. It's above the 60 level. It broke higher here versus previous points uh, previous points when we were testing the 55 zone so there's some positive divergence there's a lot of money flow going that direction and uh, anyway bottom line is this looks good uh, as you'll see in some of the other charts that we'll, uh, we'll show uh, in this video uh, the ETFs uh, the equity ETFs in the energy sector are starting to really really uh, show some uh, some strength so here goes uh, the, just taking a brief quick look at the OIL ETF uh, which tracks the crude oil contract. Basically, MACDs are at 12-month highs, and uh, the Bollinger Band, middle Bollinger Band, is starting to curl up. Uh, soon, we're going to see the 50 MA start curling up. Uh, although the MACDs are still, uh, rather RSI, still slightly below the 60, uh, we expect that to break to the upside very soon. Uh, for us to go uh, more aggressively long, we want to see we want to see the OIL ETF break six dollars. Uh, that's going to cause a lot more momentum into the sector, but we think that's uh, it's going to happen, and ultimately we're going to hit uh, anywhere between seven and uh, seven and nine dollars at some point uh, this year. Would is our opinion. Having a look at uh, energy sector ETF uh, XLE, so XLE is now breaking above the 60 in in RSI, which is very powerful. Having uh, bounced off uh, uh, the 50 uh, RSI, and so I mean it, it looks like clear sailing, frankly, to about 75, uh, and then we'll we'll see how it does there. But I I mean we think that this uh, 70 area is going to be broken very soon to the upside. It, we we kind of had this very nice cup and handle pattern uh, that we broke out of, and and here we go. So. Um, XLE is a great ETF to consider in this uh, move to the upside. Another ETF is this energy fund, uh, DBE. Same thing, it's, it's been basing for a better part of two years now, and uh, MACDs are at 12-month highs, RSI is basically at uh, 12 to 24-month highs, and uh, it, it looks very good. Once this breaks above, above 14, uh, this can really run towards 16, probably to, to break this 200 EMA uh, to shake out some sh potential shorts at that position. Having a look at the oil and gas equipment and service ETF EXES, uh, it's been one of the more weaker uh, plays in the energy sector, but this too is showing a very nice pattern. It broke out of this downtrend here uh, with very strong candles. It retested this breakout point around the 14 area, and now it's rallying once again. Uh, and RSI is uh, threatening to break above 50. And if that does, then expect there to be a very strong move, certainly to that 1750 area as it breaks above the 50 EMA. Uh, but if it can break that area, there's it's basically uh, daylight to about the 22. 50 to 25 area. So a lot of upside for uh, oil and gas equipment sector. Uh, oil and gas exploration and production XOP ETF looks really good. I mean, it's similar to the breakout that we saw in XES, except uh, momentum is much stronger here. Notice RSI is around 60 versus around 48 on XES. But again, breakout, uh, retest, and then boom, here we go. 12 month highs on, on, um, on MACDs and and RSI looks great. Uh, OIH is the Vectors Oil Services ETF. 
This one's kind of the weakest of the bunch. It's still technically in a downtrend. And so you want to see this breakout above that 25 level. Once it does that, it's for us, it's a question of when, not if. But once this breaks above 25, this, this can really run to uh, our, our first target really is, uh, is that 50 EMA around the 2650 area, followed by the 200 EMA at the 31 area. Uh, but ultimately, we think this hits 3750 before this run is over. And finally on this uh, list of the small cap energy ETF PSCE uh, also looks very, very nice. Break down, breakout from downtrend, uh, breakout uh, resistance around the 50 EMA, kind of retested this middle Bollinger Band successfully, and now it's testing that uh, 50 EMA uh, 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 as well, which is now starting to curl upward, which is positive. And uh, so a, a move towards 2250 uh, is definitely in the cards for uh, small cap energy. And while we're not going to provide any names for uh, for the for the free video, the one thing we will suggest is just look through these uh, holdings and a lot of these ETFs. You'll find some great names, and uh, you'll do well as a sector does well if it does well. And uh, that's about it. Do your due diligence, and I appreciate your uh, your support. Please do follow us on StockTwit and on Twitter at Moneyology, YouTube at Moneyology. Please subscribe and share our videos and like our videos, and uh, feel free to PM us with any su suggestions and feedback. We really appreciate that. And finally, uh, feel free to support our work on Patreon if you like the work that we do and if you like uh, better videos and more videos in the future. Uh, that would be great. A $10 ten dollar a month uh, pledge would go a long way if we can get to 500 subscribers thanks guys and have yourself a wonderful rest of the week